Welcome back to another Unturned video. Today I went on a Polaris server on three separate days, each day full of intense PvP and action. On day one we will be a duo, but on the other two days we will be completely solo. On day one and day two we will focus mainly on PvP, gaining a lot of loot, and on the third day we will focus on doing some solo raiding. If you guys enjoyed this video and want to see more, let's aim for 400 likes. If you reach that like goal, I'll be sure to do more videos like this in the future. Also subscribe if you haven't already, each one helps the channel grow its own. Last video I announced a mythical giveaway and this is the winner. To claim your Price, please join my discord over at discord.gg slash ldg and contact me over there. Today we're going through another one which is a lovely shark tooth necklace. If you wanna win this make sure that you have liked, subscribed and comment something below. Chat members also have a higher chance of winning. But before we hop into the video I would like to shout out today's sponsor. Are you guys looking to start your own answer network with survival or roleplay or even just a private server to play with your friends? Then check out Pine Hosting. With Pine Hosting you can set up your server in literally just a few minutes. The performance is very high quality and extremely easy to use and to learn. When I started off with my own network I had no idea how to do any Anything, but with Pine Hosting's easy navigation, it only took me a few minutes to just learn the basics. They have global locations, affordable pricing, and hostings not just for Unturned, but for many other games, including Rust, Ark, and Minecraft. My favorite feature from Pine Hosting is the fact that you can have a plugin and workshop installer. And with just one click, you can install them in your servers. If you guys are interested, make sure to use the code LDG for a huge discount of 30% off. The link will be in the description below, and let's get straight into the video. Alright ladies and gentlemen, we're going on Polaris. Yes sir, we are in. As soon as you load in, you're always greeted with some woman talking in Russian. And you always get a crazy kit. Now there are some kits on the server, nothing that insane. I got a block kit. Gives you a bed, some ammo. But that is literally it. Now I'm going to be in a duo, I don't want to be in a bigger group. My teammate did also join as well, and we're going to try to maybe do a little Rex to riches. There are some people on the server, a lot of villains. There's a 4-man and a 3-man team, so perhaps we could try to run into one of those. I think that would be pretty insane. We'll obviously try to build a base, we'll obviously try to get ourselves some high tier raiding gear, maybe a bunch of lotuses as well. The server does have a shop, so that means that we can buy items, but it is normal times loot. So it's not going to be 10 times loot, and it's been a while since I've played a normal time loot as well all right let's switch the clothes let's drop that we don't really need those we can probably salvage them we're probably gonna head straight to military base we'll try to build a base close to there i think that would be a good idea so that we're always close to the action if we hear shots we can always try to counter those people well, I hear a lot of shooting actually going on i think that's a penumbra with a silencer we're gonna try to find those people we did loot a bit military, but we didn't get anything. Since it's normal loot, we, we didn't get any single item that's actually good. We did get some military clothes. And there's still shots going on. There's an admin on the server as well. Maybe we can get some admin PvP, get ourselves banned. That'd be kind of funny. Wait, what? We just literally heard someone TP. And there's people around. Alright, nice. My teammate got one. Oh, he's actually geared. Right, he has full mercenary and everything. There's another dude. He should be low. There's multiple people though. All right, I got him. Yeah, my teammate got the other. This is the three man. Oh yeah, they are geared. They have a fully decked out weapons. I don't know what most of these items are. There's modded guns in the server as well. I actually did not know that. All right, let's go. I really damaged this dude as well. My teammate finished him off. Oh my god, he has full PMC. Well, there we go. Insane Rex to riches on normal loot server. It's a three man team. Yeah, we should definitely try to build a base next. We don't literally have anything. Now I'm gonna switch to this sniper. There's people on the other side. Oh, I got shot. Right, let's back up and med. I got hit again. Yeah, I'm super low. Let's med up. I don't know where we're getting shot from, to be honest. Somebody with a silenced weapon. Let's take these meds. There's a guy there. I hit him. I missed. It's multiple people, bro. I missed again. Let's try to push up a bit. He should be super low. And my teammate's right next to him. Nobody is dead, though. I'm gonna push up a bit. Get myself Kinney. He's right back there. Alright, he's dead. He was medding. Yeah, he had uh, a sniper, a bunch of ammo, some modded gun. There's another dude here. Two Polaris flowers, I mean, I'll take those. Those are actually good to have. And more shots, got myself Bevly. I don't know who he's shooting at. We should obviously try to back up, actually, so that we can try to build ourselves a base. Because we have so much loot on us and I don't want to die. Somebody that comes from behind us or something like that. We need to store all of this loot. So something that I like about the server is that if people log off, they always have loot stored inside like a ragdoll. Which you can take that loot. It's pretty cool. So people can actually need to log off inside their bases uh, and so on. So that they won't lose all of their loot that they log off with. And people cannot combat log or any of that either. 
People cannot actually leave with all of the high tier loads inside their characters, making it impossible to actually raid, basically. It's something that I really, really like. I wish that on every server it is actually a thing. But we're gonna go build the base next. We did manage to back up a bit from the PvP, finally. It was a very intense Rex to Riches. Keep in mind, the server is normal times load. We only started with a Crazy at the start. We did manage to get full PMC, a bunch of guns, a bunch of high tier materials. And I don't even know what my teammate has, to be honest. Alright, so a bit of a base update. Currently building next to one of the windmills. We did some triangulars as well. We're gonna be doing some honeycomb. Uh, my teammate just made some storage. That probably will be in the way to do the roofs, to be honest, but it's completely okay. But yeah, we built close to military still. I'm gonna get myself a bunch of more logs so we can finish this base. There's also another small military area over here. But the main area obviously would be the, the main military base. Now as soon as we're done here, probably head over straight to Haze. Get ourselves the big boy zombie kill so that we can get maybe a broken gauze mask. If not a military radio, honestly either one of those is pretty good. As long as we don't get ourselves sentry barrel, we don't really need that. Then we'll probably head straight to the dead zone over there. We'll pray we get ourselves as much gunpowder as possible. Maybe we'll do some hordes as well so that we can get lotuses the easier way. Well, there's a bunch of crates in the middle here. Now let's do the roofs. Oh no, we actually can place them without salvaging them. Okay, good. Now all we need to do is actually get ourselves these plates which we can make them into doors. And base is pretty much finished. That, that's pretty good. I'm gonna make myself some honeycomb. Get ourselves another sheet. We'll put that right over there. My teammate made a shelf. That's pretty cool. And over there we can place barricades and, and stuff that we can actually place. We made a lot of shelves actually, Jesus. There's a guy there. He seems extremely geared. Uh, he's dead. Oh, he has a... Wait, what? Bro, they're using maple strike and they have rings. I just killed someone that has a gold ring or something. Right, I did back off a bit. I mean, these guys bought shrinks 100%. I missed. I'm gonna die. Yeah, I'm dead. Somebody with a rank and with a gun that sounds like a maple strike just killed me. It's probably some OP modded gun. Yeah, it's the four men team and they all have ranks. Let's go. It's actually terrible because that is right outside our base and we barely have any extra guns. Yeah, this is a shotgun, man. What am I gonna do? Oh, my teammate is right next to him. Oh, he killed one. Nice. I'm dead. I mean, I had a shotgun. Yeah, my teammate died as well. I think we found a team that is probably impossible to kill. The fact that they all have ranks probably means they have god knows how many OP kits. And I can't- we don't even have any more guns in here. They probably will find our base too. Yep, they are outside. They just probably saw my teammates. Yeah, we probably just lost our base. No, my teammate is dead. This is terrible. We have no guns in here, man. We just have like some vectors. I don't know if I should rush straight out, try to kill him. Probably won't go well though. But the thing is, we don't have anything that good in here. I mean, we did literally just lose everything. Because of the- we basically had PMC outfit mostly. I'm gonna try to go outside. I'll try to bait them into coming into this- Yeah, he's right over there. I don't know if- is he trying to salvage the roof? I mean, we can try to do that. But if we die, then we would lose everything even quicker. Alright, let's- let's close the outside door. I'm gonna go for it. One guy here, dead. Another dude, dead. There's a third guy here. Maple Strike dude, dead. Wait, did I click? No, there's still another dude somewhere. I don't know where he is, though. Oh, my guy was hiding in the bushes, bro. Man, I cleared three out. They're not even that good. They just have good guns, man. They have that weird Maple Strike or whatever it is. And this gun that this guy is using is just too OP. We have no guns in here. Yep, we have literally nothing. Alright, I got myself a shotgun. Hit him. Alright, well... That shot wasn't enough to kill him. Alright, so my teammate did actually manage to get a lot of loot. Yes, PMC backpack. I think he looted the guys that I killed. Or something like that. They're all TPing back though. This is impossible. So probably we're gonna do... What's uh Yeah, we got, got ourselves a gun. Very nice. Probably gonna log off then. I think there's even more people outside. They're PvPing between each other. Alright, so that is the end of day one. Now, we did actually leave the server. I did manage to vault some of the items in a very small vault, including uh, the sniper that I was using. Uh, but obviously, we got offline raided. But I didn't join for a couple of days, and then I joined on another day completely solo, and this is what happened. Alright, well, I have joined back. As soon as I joined, I was dead, so that means that we got completely offline raided. 
Yeah, I did log off with an Arbiter in my vault. That is all that I saved from the first day. I played here like two to three days ago. And I'm gonna be solo this time though. I'm gonna try to do the exact same setup. Try to build a base next to military. Try to get myself some PvP, some kills. Hopefully today will be better than last time. Last time we did actually get ourselves a good Rex to riches. But then we got greeted by a four-man team who have pay to win ranks all right so first i'm gonna loot this town try to get myself some starter up loot then we'll head straight to military there is a zombie that's stuck back there yeah this time there's a lot more players than last time so uh, but there aren't any big groups there's going to be solos and duos mostly which is perfect all right so i've chopped myself a bunch of trees gonna start building a little base so now one by one with a triangular eight so later on we'll upgrade though for sure I still need to get myself way more logs though, but I did loot a bit, didn't get anything that good. Got myself an axe, which is actually something that I currently need. Got myself some 5.56 ammo, some random clothes, not even a backpack yet, or a helmet. After this though, we will go loot military area, try to get myself some loot from there. Alright, well an airdrop is actually passing by, and I am going to go straight for it. I think it's gonna land at the very north of the map. I'm gonna try to go through military. I don't think there's anybody here though, because I haven't heard... A single shot or any of that. So I'm just gonna ignore this. We'll loot here later, man. We do have a gun, which is what's important. Our airdrop is landing right here. But there are a lot of people. There's a duo. There's another solo. Yeah, they're shooting each other. Are they shooting each other or zombies? Oh, there's another dude back there as well. Yeah, they killed this guy. I'm gonna push this dude first. We'll kill him. He's dead. And the other guy probably thinks... I don't know about him. Let's switch the gun as well. Check out. He's right here. Oh, wait, what? How is he not dead? Bro, I literally lasered him. Oh, well, that sucks. Probably left him at like 1 HP or something, man. All right, it's okay. We'll go back to base and we'll just loot military. We have nothing in here. Oh, there's a mega zombie. All right, he's dead. Let's hope we got something. Yeah, broken gauze mask. Perfect. Exactly what I needed. All right, that's going straight in vault. So surprised how there's literally nobody in military, man. Server is almost full, but nobody is here. I'm gonna try to go back to the airdrop. I'm gonna see if maybe they left anything. I doubt, though. But if they did, then I'll take whatever is left, I guess. Right now, I could use literally anything to start getting some gear. Alright, yeah, there's some loot. Nothing that good, though. Bunch of guns, grenade launcher, generator, Nico. I'm gonna home, I'm gonna deep all of this loot, but the airdrop is looted. Everybody else left, there's nobody here. But we did get some guns. I'm, I'm happy with the guns. Alright, so also I did make myself an industrial pine crate. Let's go. These are actually giving me so much storage. It's insane. Yeah, we'll depot everything in here and then we'll go start doing as much military runs as possible. Try to get ourselves some insane loot. Yeah, I'll put the floor for there for now. Later on, we'll definitely upgrade our base. We'll do that later though. There's a guy right here. Oh, he TP'd his buddy in. Alright, one dead. Both dead. Let's go. I think they're actually stacked. Let's get rid of the zombie. Oh yeah, he is. Full mercenary. Only thing he doesn't have is a backpack. We ducked out walnut. Let's go check out what the first dude had as well. And it just jumps straight on him. Oh yeah, he's geared as well. Some modded gun. Fully decked out Kinney too. That's a pretty nice outfit, man. Now there's small rack storages, kind of. Now let's take the vests for sure. Let's take the meds. All right, very nice. So some nice guns too. I don't even know what that gun is. There's a guy right there. He's dead. All right, so what I'm doing is I'm suiciding and just trying to get loot by going to different areas so that I don't have to spend a long time running around. I got myself a jackhammer too, which is actually really nice. Right, this is a tactic that I do when I'm solo, especially. Is I just suicide. Wherever I spawn, I go loot it. Hope that there are players there. If there are, we'll try to kill them. And we get loot the easy way. Which, which literally just happened. I mean, they didn't have anything that insane, but... Ourselves a bunch of guns, man. Now we home. We home, we depot, and we do the same thing over and over. And so we are back. Put everything in here. Got myself a bedroll too, by mistake. Probably use the jackhammer and go to the mines, actually. And just try to mine as much metal. So that we can use that for our base. Alright, so I just farmed a lot of metal. Can still get even more. Got ourselves a bunch of other random junk too that we can salvage. Myself a walnut as well, which is a pretty good gun. Now we can home and work on base for a bit. Alright, so base update. This is currently how my base is looking. Pretty good to be honest. I did expand it a bit. Made some of it metal. Put the jackhammer in our vault as well. And we'll continue doing some loot runs around. Alright, 
All right, boys, so that also concludes day two. Nothing really was happening on day two. I was running around trying to find PvP, but it seemed like everybody was either AFK or they were just naked. So I did leave the server and I joined back the next day, hoping that I would be unraided. But obviously, I got offline raided, so we had to restart once again. All right, day three, we got offline raided once again. We got offline raided once again. The only thing I have in my vault is a good old jackhammer. But today I will not stop until I raid the base. I will try to build at a different location than the usual base next to military. The server is always like this, man. Every time I build a base, I just get raided as soon as I leave the server. Kind of sucks, not gonna lie. There's a helicopter inside that firewatch tower. Okay. Well, somebody logged over there. There is nothing, though. I will be solo as yesterday. I'll try to find some bases. There is a base right over here, but there's not gonna be anything. Yeah, it's completely sealed off. So first things first is I will go to uh, military, try to get myself some loot. Actually, I will try to get myself an observer kill first. We're literally right next to one. I made myself one of the kits. It just gives me some ammo, some clothes, and some meds. That's literally it. And he's right over here. Let's just take him out so that we can start collecting all of those lotuses as well. All right, cyan crystal. I guess we can consider this video being like a mini wipe, a normal mini wipe. All in one video though, where we just get raided every single day. I'm gonna get myself the copper coils too while we're at it. And then we would have literally everything to get ourselves a lotus. Except for a military radio. I'll just clear out all the zombies actually. Yes sir, we have everything to make lotus. So I will just focus on building a base next. Alright, so before we actually start building base, I am going to farm as much items as possible. I already farmed a lot of logs. Uh, so that when I start building a base, it wouldn't just be a one by one. We'll actually try to build something decent today. Maybe it will uh, be harder for raiders. Is this an unraided base? No, it's raided. Never mind. Uh, you could take it over actually, but nah, I don't really want to live in the mines. Just be dark all the time. Alright, lots I've been building for a while. Got myself a pretty decent base, 2 by 2 I'm doing some honeycomb as well. I gotta make myself a couple of doors. In here will be the loot room, in here is the bedroom. Other than that, I did make myself some lockers. Don't have anything in them though. So now we're gonna be going and looting, grinding. Now I did build next to the main road. Right under there is also next to a truck, next to the mines and next to the construction area. We also have a little military area close, so we do have everything very close to us so it's a pretty good location and it's not in a location where a lot of people actually go also i'm gonna be looking around for perhaps some raids that we can do because today i will be wanting to raid i will not stop until i do some raids so at least in this wipe even though it was quite chaotic we would actually be raiding something now we're back from a run got myself a lotus generator which we can also make it into a horde beacon and that's actually what we're going to do got ourselves a horde let's go huge got myself some extra guns Nothing that insane though, but Horde Beacons is gonna be the method to get as much Lotus as possible. We are right next to the construction area and those do spawn quite regularly, even though it's normal times loot. But in the server there is double forgeable, so that means that we're gonna take advantage of it and it actually gives us two Lotuses instead of one. So that is actually huge. That's what we're going to do next. We're gonna do it right over here next to this military area. So if people do counter us and they kill us, then we can always just come back. And just a few seconds later, I'm gonna do it all with a knife as well. Shouldn't be that hard. Hopefully it takes like two hits to kill a zombie. Now in this area, we can also get on top of that fuel container. And we would be able to hit them very, very easily from there. But if I brought the jackhammer, actually, I should have done that. But it's fine. Alright, Horde Beacon popped, I heard it. Yes sir, got two Lotuses, let's go, huge. And we'll go straight back to base. Now we will be doing a filter and then we'll be using a broken gas mask and we'll be going straight to the dead zone. From there, we'll try to farm as much gunpowder as possible. Put those right over there. Alright boys, one filter, dead zone run. Got myself a lot of ammo, we're gonna be using the SMG first and then we'll switch to the Walnut in case we don't have enough ammo. But hopefully, yeah, it's normal load, but hopefully they'll give us as much gunpowder as possible, man. Armored plates is also good. I do want to upgrade base. Yeah, Bevlar armored plates. Even gun parts would be great, to be honest. So we can make ourselves some penumbras. You literally just laser all of them down. And a bunch of gun oil as well. We could take that. Same time, we're getting ourselves a lot of money, which is actually really good. Because with that, we can actually buy stuff that we need. We can buy comp powder. Pretty sure we can buy lotuses as well. But we cannot buy certain items. But they're actually quite expensive still. So it's not going to be that easy to actually farm money. Alright, well, we're done with the dead zone. Got ourselves a false chair. They got ourselves quite a ton of good loot. But we only got three gunpowder, which is not really that much. But it's still better than nothing. There's still a couple of zombies, I hear. And they drop armor plates. I mean, we could take that. 
But yeah, we're done with the first dead zone run. We're obviously gonna have to be doing more. But today is gonna be a grinding game. Unlike the other two days where it was just mainly focused on PvP. Sometimes... I don't know about you guys, but I would want to just take a, a day where we just don't actually get into PvP. Just relax and grind in peace. Even though we're fine people, we're obviously gonna try to kill them. But yeah, we got ourselves enough above lore. We're gonna start upgrading our clothes to mercenary. We got ourselves more storage with that. Let's do the vest as well. We still don't have a backpack though. But for now, we got some mercenary clothes. I'm back from another metal run. An airdrop is passing by, so perhaps we should actually go for it. Our airdrop is gonna land... Right over here. Let's get some... What? Dude, I wasn't even under it, man. Okay, well, let's go back. Now we're back. All my loot is gone. Yes, yeah, nobody, nobody took it, though. There's only one other dude. And all of the loot is still in here. Well, got ourselves some bunch of guns. Penumbra. Gauss mask. All right, well, let's try to just break it, hopefully. Yeah, we, we can break it. Hopefully, all the loot is still under there and didn't despawn. Let's just switch to the penumbra. Oh yeah, it's still here. Okay, good. I wasn't even under it. I don't know how I died there. I was literally a mile away. Alright, well, at least we got the airdrop. Got ourselves another gas mask, which we can go do a dead zone run very, very soon. Let's go back to our car and let's just drive back to base. Alright, so with that horde beacon run that we did, I did upgrade some of the lockers. Made myself the loot room fully armored, kind of. I mean, we still need to do some of the floors and uh, not all the walls are actually armored. They're just metal for now. But we're going to do ourselves another horde beacon. We have enough to do a couple, so we'll just do one right now. Get ourselves two more lotuses. Then we should be able to perhaps do another dead zone run, get ourselves more gunpowder. After that, we should try to hit up a raid. I'm gonna shoot them this time, actually. How much that it takes? Two bullets, I'm pretty sure. Alright, let's reload. Yeah, let's go on this container. From here, they cannot actually hit me. Except for the boss zombie, obviously. Alright, so I crafted myself a detonator till now. Because I didn't find a single detonator this whole time. I'm gonna put the lotus there for now as well. I can make myself a C4, I do have enough gunpowder to do that. But I'm almost so pretty sure that the server has base health, so we may need to get even more. Alright, so another horde beacon time. Been grinding for a while, we do have a couple of C4 ready. But after this horde, we should have enough to make even more. Because I'm using all of the money that we get from killing zombies into actually buying gunpowder. Because they're cheaper than a lotus. Plus lotuses, we get them from hordes anyway. Okay, so we found ourselves a base raid. That's something that insane. Got myself 5c4 with a horde beacon ready to do more. Hopefully it's enough. Yeah, alright, there's base health then. Alright, second c4. We are through. I see the ragdoll of the player. He logged off with a rattlesnake. That's not really that good. Alright, so when here's another rattlesnake, a bayonet, kinney, uh, grenades, tape. Grenades are good because we do need those and we cannot buy them. So grenades are always nice. There's nothing else. Oh, a bunch of more grenades. Alright, that's that's really good. Now we need two grenades per C4. And they're not that easy to get. And while we're done with the raid, we did get a bunch of grenades and a bunch of tape. Some guns, but was it worth it? I don't know. Grenades are actually really, really important. So it could be much, much worse. Alright, let's get out of here. We still have a lot more C4 though. We still have three C4 so we can raid another wood base. And I still have another horde to do. Alright, so since it's a full moon, I'm taking advantage of it. And I'm doing a dead zone run. Zombies are respawning like crazy. I think this is the second wipe that I've already did. But zombies keep respawning. So we're gonna be getting a ton of loot this way. They're all flamers, which is kind of funny. And we're gonna keep doing this until my filter runs out. I'm not gonna bother going inside. That's reload. The problem is I'm running out of ammo. Giving myself a lot of armor plates. But obviously all we need is gunpowder right now. Armor plates is also pretty nice. I'm not even getting chance to pick items up because zombies just keep coming back. Bunch of armor plates, bevlar. Yeah, they're coming back again. Yep, they're still coming. Alright, bunch of ammo. Gun parts, that's nice. Even more ammo, lovely to see. Right, let's reload. Yep, another wave is coming. Oh boys, it's time for another insane base raid. Also wood. 2x2, two two, it's a triangular at the side or whatever that is. It's not even a, a part of the base. Yeah, so we are trying to see a flag, industrial box, it's lovely to see, it's a bunch of, oh, there's actually a load, okay, well, PMC, bunch of flowers, walnut, penumbra, alright, well, this base actually has some decent load, PMC outfit is lovely, there's a drill as well, false share, bunch of ammunition, there's a lot of ammo, actually, we did kind of basically get a full PMC except for the shirt and the backpack. Alright, not too bad. Could have been way worse. But yeah, we, I don't think there are any other bases that we can raid, to be honest. I've been looking around for quite a bit. Let's take all of these logs, we can use them to upgrade base. 
And let's wear the PMC toe. Let's take the rope as well. That can always be useful. Let's make sure that we didn't actually leave anything. But it seems like we got everything that's important. There's a, other than that, it's just a bunch of food. There's a note over there. A bunch of attachments. Block upgrade kit. Wrench. It's a pillar. Let's take their penguin as well. And let's home. Alright everybody, that's going to be it for this video, I really hope that you enjoyed. Now after that, I did leave the server, it was a pretty fun wipe, quite chaotic, but that base actually did not get traded until the end of wipe. We did have ourselves a bit of a tough start, to be honest, but it was still a pretty fun video. And if you guys do want to see more like this in the future, where things may not always go the way that I want them to, then let me know in the comment section below. Thank you guys so much for watching, I hope that you enjoyed and I will see you in the next one. Bye!